Hey guys, welcome back to Make That Sea Change. Paul here with you again. And Make That Sea Change is my site and channel aimed at everything to do with the world of setting up your own online business. Now along those lines, so we're going to talk about your home office and setting up your home, off home office. And part of that is looking at ergonomic chairs, or as I've come in my post, three best ergonomic chairs for your home office. Now, as part of working at home, the same as is in your working in office, you're going to be spending a lot of time sitting at a, at a desk, at a keyboard, and a good ergonomic chair is something that can definitely help you. I'm sitting on one here. I don't know if you can see that, which is a, um, it's actually a gaming chair. I find it very good because it's got a high back and it keeps my back supported. It's got some armrests here. It's adjustable. Um, obviously, you can't see that. Um, it's too heavy to stand up and show you. It's got um, wheels on as underneath so I can move it around. I've got a little pla uh, fiberglass plastic thing on the floor as well to keep it off the carpet. And that's what I use because, as, as I said, someone as someone who spends a lot of time in his home office, it's something that we're looking at. So as we go through our home our ergonomic chairs, I'm not going to read the, the text for you word for word. Um, I've come up with three options there, which I'll take you through in a second. And <clears throat> obviously ergonomics, as we know, is all about keeping your posture and everything right for those long days. So you're looking at having your your knees vertical, uh, horizontal with the floor, knees, you know, lower legs vertical, nice straight back, a headrest, good lumbar support there, armrests adjustable so you can come up and down with the height because your arm um, should be resting at a nice, you know, flat line on the desk as such. So that's what we're looking at with an ergonomic chair. Things that you need to consider as you go through, and again, everything is written here in the post, but you're looking at things like adjustable seat height, so you need to make sure that the seat can go up or down because that can adjust how your hands rest on the desk and on the keyboard. Lumbar support and adjustable backrest, which, which adjusts how forward or back your, your backrest goes, may, meaning that you, are sitting, you can sit upright and you've got good shoulder posture when you're sitting. Seat depth and width, that's, I mean, to be honest, more a comfort thing, but it's, you know, how the, how the seat sits. Armrests, I actually have my armrests up quite often, but a lot of people say that if you've got your, you know, if you, if you have high enough, you can put your armrests down and actually rest your elbows on that. That can help. Swirls and casters for moving around. It just means you're not trying to, you know, it's easy to get in and out. So you're not putting extra pressure on your legs and the like when you move in and out. Padding and material. So, you know, make sure it's durable material. This is like a, my one's like a fake leather, which I will say the only issue with the fake leather is in hot weather. I have to put a towel on it because it gets a bit sticky. So maybe try, a, uh, you know, a, a fabric rather than a, than a leather or a fake leather. But it is something that you can, you can certainly look at from there. Okay, so, and as you can see, I've written all about that in here. You can see there with the arms nice and vertical, everything's adjustable, lumbar support, wheels on the bottom, etc. And other things that some of them have, keyboard and mouse stands, headrests, hooks, so they can you can hang your, your headphones on hooks on the side. Mine doesn't have any of that, but you can hang your headphone. Again, it's just stopping you having to reach around too much to find that information. So the, my options here, first one here I've got is a Silibon ergonomic office chair. Breathable nylon mesh and durable hard engineered wooden nylon base. Uh, four centimetre lumbar and 30 degree back rest adjustment, which is really good. Uh, size, and it can ha hold up to 300 pounds in weight. Flip up armrests and adjustable height. Again, good things you need um, in a, an ergonomic chair. Uh, three support points, back, hip and hand, and proper lumbar support. So that's a good option for a fairly decent price there as well. Second one, online Ergo Pro Ergonomic Office Chair. Not a bad price for that as well. Um, it's good support, breathable nylon mesh and metal frame, so it's nice and strong. Dynamic lumbar support and 135 degree backrest adjustment, so you've got some real good adjustment there that you can do. Um, 300 pound weight, again, 4D adjustable armrest. I'm not actually quite sure what that means, to be honest. Um, I think that means they can go up or down, or you can make them wider as well. Pretty sure what that means. I remember looking at that, but I, I'm going to say what that's what it is. And if I'm wrong, comment below, let me know. Um, premium gas lift. A gas lift is quite good for bringing the chair up and down, easy to adjust as you go. Silent and smooth blade wheels, again, for ease of movement. And adjustable headrest, which is something that a lot of people like in a good office chair. You can see the headrest up there as well. 
Okay, third option here is a bit more luxurious, bonded leather with metal frame. I mean, I've got a, mine's a fake leather, it's not a real leather. Um, good if you're in air-conditioned area. If you're in heat, maybe get a little cover for it as well. Dynamic, dynamic lumbar support and tilting backrest, so it's got all the support you need. That should be 235 pounds. I don't think any weight each hair is going to hold 2,375 pounds. I will fix that um, once we get in there. Flip up armrest, 30 degree turn on caster wheels, extra padding and seat and backrest. So it's a bit more comfortable. To be honest, it just looks a little bit nicer. If you're in a home office where you've got clients and the like coming in, then you know if you want a mixture of good ergonomics and that luxurious or prestige look, then this would be a good one to go for as well. As I say, not a bad price and you can find them all there. So that's it guys, that's my three best ergonomic chairs for the home office. Hope that was helpful for you. Um, if you have an experience with them, comment below or comment below and let me know what it is you look for or what you've used or how it's worked for you or even what happens if you've chosen the wrong one. I had the wrong one, I used to sit down in it and my back used to scream. So, you know, let us know about all that as well. That's it. Any other comments, please let me know below. If you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe to my channel as well. Thanks guys, hope that was helpful. Chat to you soon. Bye.